This is Westminster Abbey. Take a look around to explore this royal church from the new king's perspective. Behind us is the Great West Door, where King Charles enters. First, the procession steps around the grave of the unknown warrior, beneath us to the left. It is the only tombstone in the abbey that no one, not even the monarch, is allowed to step on. The king continues through the nave, past some 2,000 guests gathered in the abbey. This is the 39th coronation held here since 1066. The king reaches the choir screen, the organ above him, which was installed for the coronation of King George VI in 1937. This part of the abbey is where the choir sings. The Coronation Theatre, as it's called, is in front of him, an area built to be spacious enough for holding coronations. We are now at the very heart of Westminster Abbey. In front of us is the medieval flooring known as the Cosmati Pavement. It's been covered by carpet and roped off for more than a century, but now it's been fully restored. The monarch sits in the middle of this space for much of the service on the ancient coronation chair facing the high altar with his back to the congregation. It is here that the king is anointed and crowned. <laughs> 